In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to recover a lost recording in Serato DJ Pro. Shout out to Times2 for this one because he was the one that gave me the idea for the video. With that being said, let's get into the video. What's going on people? I go by the name of DJ CB and on this channel, we help bedroom DJ transition over to a club DJ. If you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. We're gonna jump into Serato right now and I'm gonna show you how to record a mix and save it properly. And I'm also gonna show you how to record a mix and then recover it if you happen to accidentally shut Serato, your computer crashes, it runs out of battery, or you just literally forget to press save. Let's jump into Serato now. So I'm using Serato 2.5.7. You might be using an older version, so things might be a little bit different. So you're gonna open up your Serato window, and then you're gonna press record at the top up here to bring up the record window. If you're using a controller or a, D a DJM S9 or a Pioneer 900 Nexus mixer, or anything like that, you're gonna wanna have this drop down as mix and then you can obviously choose the record location where you want it to be saved. I'm gonna leave it as the default, what Serato sets for me already. And then I normally just turn up the volume up a little bit so the mix comes out a little bit louder. Then all you need to do is just kind of play your music as you would and press record. So your mix is currently recording now. When you're happy with your mix and you're done, what you need to do is press record again so it stops and then you just name your mix, YouTube Mix 1 and press save. If you haven't already got a recorded crate in your Serato, Serato will actually create one for you and put your mix in there. And also what Serato will do, it will save it into the recordings folder on your MacBook in the music folder. So on a MacBook, if you go into your music folder on your computer, you're gonna have two folders. You're gonna have Serato and Serato backup. You're gonna wanna go into Serato and then under recording, you open that up and if I change this to date modified to the, the latest one, you can see that YouTube mix is here. So that was a scenario of recording the mix and saving it properly. Now I'm gonna show you how to recover a lost mix if you happen to shut your Serato unexpectedly. If we go back into Serato now and we play some music again and we press record. So your mix is recording, you press record and then you don't actually put a name here and you don't press save and then you close Serato, you come out of your set or you finish your mix and you're like, oh, I've lost my recording for that day, I don't know what to do, and you're stressing because it might have been the best mix you've ever done. What you can do is head back over to your Serato folder and inside here, you're gonna have something called recording temp. In this folder, you're gonna have a Serato recording. So what this does is it will save it in this temporary folder if you have forgotten to save it. Because when you're recording the mix on Serato, this file is constantly updating. Let me show you. So if I go over to Serato right now and I go in and record a new mix and obviously play this. If we go back to that temporary folder, you can see here that the size has gone back down to zero, uh, 70. If I come out of this folder and then go back in, you can see that it's at 2.5. Come out again, go back in, it's at 3.3. Because what it's doing is the recording is constantly updating this file. So just in case your computer runs out of battery or you close Serato unexpectedly, the file will always be here. Stop the recording. And now we haven't saved the recording, but you can see it here in the temporary folder. So you can take this, rename it, and then you have your mix that you actually just lost recovered in this folder. The only thing about this is you can only save one temporary mix. So let me show you. So if I delete this temporary mix and I go into here and I press record again, it's gonna create me a brand new Serato recording one. If I stop this, you'll, you can currently see that it's at 1.1 megabytes. If I press record again, it actually resets it and creates a brand new recording. So you just need to make sure if you have just recorded a mix and your computer runs out of battery, you need to make sure that you don't press record again, otherwise you'll, you'll lose that temporary recording. So that's just a video on how to recover a lost mix if you happen to shut down Serato unexpectedly or your computer runs out of battery. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. If you're interested in six months of 25% off on Mixcloud Pro, check the link down in the description. That will take you to a site where the discount will be automatically applied. Also, if you're interested in sound effects, I sell 158 sound effects for five pounds on Fiverr. The link is also down in the description. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at DJC underscore B. I post there regularly. With that being said, I go by the name
name is DJ CB, and we're out.